today we're going to hear from a number of panel members and we're going to hear about what the Transport Knowledge Hub can do for local authorities and other decision makers and we're particularly focusing on the use of technology. That the Transport Knowledge Hub uniquely brings together local and central government, local enterprise partnerships and the transport community to encourage investments which will facilitate inclusive and sustainable economic growth. The Hub is also a forum for sharing best practice and for bringing together local decision makers and key stakeholders to discuss the issues of today and reflect on big questions and, and big challenges that are facing the sector. Transport for the South East was born about a year ago <clears throat> and we, we now have 16 um, transport authorities across that area. And what does that do? It actually does give you increased uh, speaking power because actually the Secretary of State was pleased to meet us. He was very pleased to uh, recognise us as a sub-national transport board, but recognising that the process you have to go through uh, will take some time. The international gateways, what happens in Portsmouth, Southampton, Dover, um, a good percentage of the traffic or, or the freight and whatever comes through there and actually never stops in our counties, it's actually going through. So we really do need to then link with the economic department and others to ensure that those routes and journey times are as best as they could. And I was very interested to listen about the idea of transport travelling uh, during the night. And our research into young people using buses uh, showed that there's a lot of competition with, among, with, with them for space on their smartphones. So any app um, scheduling bus journeys would, be, would have to compete with other apps and, and somehow gain a priority place um, with them. Also smartphones of ticketing allowing for new types of tickets, maybe part-time season tickets, multimodal tickets, pay-as-you-go, price capping, um, and information, keep passengers informed with real-time information on the day while they're travelling um, via mobile technology, information systems at stations and bus stops and on the train or bus. Why are people using split ticketing? They want to save the cost on their train journey. Why are people using mobile apps? Because they want to get information. It's exactly the points that Catherine was making. How do we want our transport system to evolve? But I'll tell you what, if you offered me now, right here and now, that I could pay a monthly fee, and on that account, I could get onto any bus, any train, any form of public transport, I could go and park in a car park if I wanted to. I'd think about that. I'd look at the cost, but I would think about that because I do that already with my mobile phone. So why won't I do that about buying and purchasing mobility? Because that's what it is about. So as I take my train to work every day, I'm a user, we've done that, haven't we? Um, I pass an Amazon warehouse as all the white diesel vans coming into the warehouse to then deliver all our goods that we use because we use technology and then they clog up our roads and and pollute our air. It's a complex uh, subject we're all dealing with, isn't it, as users, as professionals. There's a tech giant responding to our demand and in, in doing so, impacting on our own connectivity. Many years ago, if you went to a bus station in a place like Milton Keynes or in Oxford or somewhere, there used to be a parcel collection and delivery point. And um, lo and behold, you used to, to deliver your parcel and then the bus driver would come out just before he went off to go somewhere like Brackley or somewhere and he'd have a big pile of parcels in the front of the bus. I mean, in Go Ahead, seriously, we have been talking to Amazon about some sort of interaction with them. We, as bus operators, deliver parcels as well as people. And therefore, you know, the, the, the really good thing there is that that does monetize. We've talked about monetizing and that could transform some of our marginal um, networks and marginal routes into something that's a little bit more profitable. We had a really interesting discussion today, um, particularly focusing on the use of technology, how to work better together. We're in an era where transformation of our transport system is fundamental to the success of the future and we only get that through collaboration and we only get that through talking. So events like the Transport Knowledge Hub workshop fundamental to actually helping us move that forward.